We're here to make a demonstration on how to make a surgical mask and we're going to walk through and show you the materials that we have and how to put together a mask. So the material that we're using is uh, actually a drape from the hospital and it is a two ply and the reason we're using this instead of cotton is because it uh, is a moisture barrier and so if the patient coughs or sneezes that is held within the mask and so that's an important thing to use. So we're going to go on to uh, cutting the material and we are going to cut this into eight inch squares. So now I have a, a just a regular pipe cleaner and this is going to go in the bridge of the nose so that it can be clamped down um, to secure around the patient's face. So you're just going to take an ordinary pipe cleaner and fold it in half and then just twist this really tight so it's, it kind of makes it a two-ply wire so it's a little thicker. And then that is ready to be sewn into the mask. So the next part is just to form a casing uh, at one end uh, to put our pipe cleaner in. So I'm just going to start and I just back up to reinforce that seam. We are sewing in paper here. And then I, I take my pipe cleaner and insert it into that casing. And if it's not in the middle, that's okay. We can, we can move it later. And so we have a casing there with the pipe cleaner in it and it's pretty close to the middle, so that's good. So uh, your drapes on some of them are sealed on one end, on the other end, and if it is sealed there, uh, that is fine. And so we'll go on to the next step with that one. If you're cutting from the middle of the drape, it is uh, separated. And so after you make your casing on one end, you'll need to turn uh, that piece around and put a small hem on the other side to hold that together. So our next step is to uh, crease our mask so we can make um, the pleats in here. And those are important so it will stretch over uh, from underneath the chin over to the patient's nose. So to make pleats, I'm going to take my material and fold it in half. And you can crease this however you want. I'm going to use a ruler, just anything sharp so it will, just so it'll show the line there, the crease. After I've done that step, I take the edge and I fold it to the, the crease I just made and press. And then I take the other edge and do the same thing, fold it to the middle and then press that side. So now I have three lines on uh, my mask and that's where we're going to make our pleats. So our next step is actually to sew the pleats in place. So I'm going to use my lines where I folded and I'm just going to fold them up toward the casing with the um, pipe cleaner. And so I have three pleats in there and you can measure these to make them exact or just get them at a close to a half an inch each. So now I'm going to take that up to my machine and I am going to sew those pleats in place. So that completes the pleats on one side, so I'm just going to turn my mask around and make the pleats on the other side. Our last step is to attach the elastic for um, to go over the ears to hold the mask on. And what I'm using right here is an eighth of an inch elastic, and it's cut um, six and a half inches long, and you'll need two of those, one for each side of the mask. So I'm just going to place my elastic right up here on the seam where my casing is at the top. Then I'm going to stretch the elastic and turn it around and sew it 
right at that uh, seam on the bottom, either the pressed seam or the hem that you made. And I go over that a couple of times to hold it in place. So there is the earpiece for one side. I'm gonna turn my mask around and do the other side. So now I have a completed uh, surgical mask and I just need to trim uh, my threads off of this and it'll be ready to be used.